Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So today I've selected eight composers, a little short snapshot of eight composers who have had a role to play with Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church. We start today with Stephen Stuckey, American composer born in 1949, passed away in 2016. Not only a composer, but a conductor, won the Pulitzer Prize in music in 2005. 11 different orchestras in the USA have commissioned him, taught at Juilliard, at Eastman, at Berkeley, was resident composer at the Los Angeles Philharmonic for the longest tenure of any composer in any residential situation. He wrote a piece of music for the American Guild of Organists that we have performed here, a beautiful piece called The Kingdom of God in No Strange Land, a text by Francis Thompson. And it's wonderful a cappella writings. Here is the opening of The Kingdom of God. Music of Stephen Stuckey. Our second composer today is Georg Philipp Telemann, 1681 to 1767. German composer, organist, a link from the Baroque to the early classical, prolific composer. We don't know where all of the music, but it is said he composed more than 3,000 pieces. Is amazing. This is a little bit of his Psalm 117 uh, for two violins, continuo, and choir. A charming little piece. Praise Jehovah, all ye nations. Telemann, wonderful, sprightly, delightful music. Our third composer, Mansell Thomas, born in 1909, died in 1986, a Welsh composer and conductor involved with the BBC Welsh Orchestra. He was very fond of taking melodies from the Welsh tradition and uh, writing choral arrangements. He also, of course, did a lot of chamber music, but here is a little piece for choir. It's called, in English, Early Dawn.
Music of Mansell Thomas. Our fourth composer is the Minnesota composer Hiram Titus. Born in 1947, passed away in 2013. Not only a composer, but a brilliant pianist. Composed works for Minnesota Opera, an opera called Rosina, which I conducted. For children's theater, he did many things. And for the history theater, probably he's best known for a piece he did. He did all the incidental music for the Dr. Seuss play, The 500 Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. But he also wrote a wonderful piece for the church choir called Sing We Joyous for organ and choir. So here's the opening of that. Titus. Our fifth composer, now we go to Spain, Vittoria, Tomas Luis de Vittoria, 1548 to 1611. Composer, organist, singer, priest. He was the most significant composer in Spain during the Counter Reformation. He wrote masses, magnificats, laments, poets. And you can get a little sense of that style with this very jubilant setting of Hosanna to the Son of David. of Vittoria. Our sixth composer today, Charles Wood, 1866-1926, a composer from Ireland, though of course he also spent a lot of his life in England as a teacher and as an organist. He was the first director of music in Cambridge at the college Gonville and Keys, then was at the University of Cambridge. He's best known for having written three books on carols, which helped to revive the whole idea of singing carols. And certainly the one that I know you all know, which he found and brought back, was this old French carol. <laughs> That was one of them, but he also wrote some beautiful anthems. One of them from 1917 is on the poem of Greville Fillmore, Summer ended, harvest o'er, Lord to thee our song we pour, which begins with the organ and the men in unison.
Music of Charles Wood. Our seventh composer is the American James Woodman, born in 1957. Composer and organist, has written a number of organ works and choral works, some of them very humorous, and for the last 25 years has been the monastery organist in Cambridge, Massachusetts for the Society of St. John the Evangelist. He's written some lovely choral pieces, but just to give a little sense of the humor of him, here is an organ piece he wrote, and it is um, based on, you know, you take an old pop song and then you set it to organ and somehow people think, what is that tune? It seems so familiar, I can't quite place it. Well, here it is for Christmas time. of James Woodman. I couldn't stop halfway through. I had to play all of that. So our final composer has me hearkening back to our first composer. When I began these musical moments almost 300 composers ago, the first one was the Minnesota composer, Dominic Argento, a friend of mine, my professor, a man that I commissioned a number of times, and a man who uh, has done so much for choral music in this country and around the world. And before I play this last piece, of course I couldn't have done all of these if it wasn't for my son, Timothy Brunel, who has been my videographer, my editor, and all of that to make all of this happen. So thank you, Tim, for being with me from day one. And now, music of Dominic Argento. It's the very end of his Gloria, which comes from his opera, his church opera, The Mask of Angels. And at the very end, the choir sings Gloria in Excelsis Deo. wonderful day.